Warning, drinking too much can make ugly people appear attractive and make cause premature death. Please drink responsibly. Welcome, friends, to another episode of... Drinking Games for Gamers! Gamers! Today's episode is all about a deceptively charming two-button fighting game that we like to call Imbibe Kick. You know, you're pretty terrible at naming things, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Ingredients. One, beer or a mixed drink of your choosing. We decided to go with gym and dive because it doesn't taste that bad and, well, it's all we had lying around. Two, a copy of Dive Kick for the PC, PS3, 360, or the PS Vita. Though we don't actually recommend using the Vita version as playing a drinking game on a handheld could have disastrous effects. How to play. In keeping with the spirit of the game it's based on, Imbibe Kick is very simple. Whenever you get KO'd, take a drink. And if you get KO'd by a headshot, you must waterfall your drink for as long as your character is dizzy. Strategy. The best way to succeed in Imbibe Kick is by studying your opponent. You're gonna wanna learn their attack patterns, anticipate their moves, and try and trick them into leaving themselves vulnerable. And if you lose, don't sweat it. Imbibe Kick is one of those games where you actually get better as you get drunker. It's the very definition of a win-win. Punishment. Oh, what? I totally dove kicked you first! The punishment for this game works in two ways. If you're playing a regular first to five wins match, then the loser takes as many drinks as the difference in KOs. So if the score was five to three, the loser takes two drinks. However, if someone was not only ball enough to pick the yellow gem, but also win with it, then the loser has to finish their entire drink. That's right, you swallow that liquid shame. And that's Imbibe Kick. So remember kids, don't drink and drive, drink and dive. And we'll see you next time on Drinking Games for Gamers! 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 Whatever, this character ain't even my main!